Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Foldback Barbecue Sessions. Hello, everybody that's watching on the live stream and to everybody out here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, everybody. It's so great to be here. This is Danielle Andrews and I'm Amy Hetherington. We'd like to start by acknowledging that we are on Larrakia land. We pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging. And what a time to be in Darwin, right? Everything's happening. The weather is OK. The weather is fantastic, actually. <laughs> I would take sweating here in the Northern Territory than not being able to go outside anywhere else in Australia. Right, friends who are here in the audience right now? Can we have a round of applause for how good the Northern Territory is doing right now? Yeah, that's yeah. what we liked here. And uh, Amy, this is a barbecue session. Yes. Uh, and in case you hadn't noticed, and you hadn't noticed, we have a barbecue in front of us. Yeah. Do you want to show everyone what we're cooking, Amy? Oh, mates, this is an exciting time. Very they important. have trusted Danielle and I to cook up a storm. And what are we cooking right now? Oh, here we go. Here, here we, we go. go. Let's have a go. It. The big we're, reveal. Oh, we are cooking up some sweet foldback merchandise. There's also merchandise from all of the artists that are going to be performing tonight as a part of the barbecue session. So please make sure that you go and support local artists. Buy a singlet, buy a shirt, get some stickers. Those kind of things are helping our local acts out. Exactly. And uh, one of our acts today, Dave Garnham, is only selling CDs at live events. So if you like what you hear, yeah, you, that's the only way you're going to get it. So make yeah. sure you get on that. People at home are just going to have to find out where Dave Garnham lives. And look, let's be honest, he sung a song about it for Darwin Festival. You could probably find him. <laughs> now, friends, we're going to give you a little bit of context about this wonderful event before we bring out our first act. This is the Foldback Barbecue Sessions. And they've come about as a result from funding from NT Government Arts NT and Channel NT, which is an excellent initiative that's helping our artists get their content online. Came about during COVID and now it's extending even further now that we're out of lockdown and we can make beautiful content in beautiful places like this. The idea is to make sustainable digital platforms and provide employment to NT artists and NT acts. And actually, can we have a round of applause and a bit of noise for all of the NT artists that have had a massive 2020? I think it's really important that we recognise the hard work and the resilience of our Northern Territory artists. And a big thank you to Channel NT and the NT government for supporting that as well. And I think we should crack on with our next, with our first act. I think we should get straight into it because that's what you're here for, some amazing music. So we're going to pass over to Stevie Jean. I don't know, was I ever in love? Doing lines of betrayal on the books that you bought. Was I ever in love or was it just the drugs that we used to take? I'm sober now. Was I ever in love or was it just the drugs to keep the numb at bay? And you lay there still, yeah, you lay there. And I
across time lines and now I love to be on the outside looking in no matter how you flutter you'll never fool me into where I've been and won't tell the other person ever, this is for you. Treat this as your release. <laughs> I always said I don't know what to do about you. Lately I find it's true. Spending my days dodging texts from you. You don't want to hear the truth, do you? I got a new girl that I call when I'm bored. I got a new girl that I call when I'm bored. I got a new girl that I call when I'm bored. But I miss your voice, so I wait for your call.
was spending my days dodging texts from you. You don't wanna hear the truth, do you? Do you? Do you? Cheers. Ties. It's a choice, I love the bitterness And does it get you so low that you gotta get high? This thing's ecstatic and it drives me wild Fucking sinner like oh, 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 yeah, my child up fucking sinner and I, oh, 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 my child up fucking sinner and I, my child up fucking introduce this is Manoli he's from draft day and he plays bass 
This is Rowan. He's also from Draft Day. Normally we also have Aaron Barker here, but he had better things to do, I think, <laughs> than play with us today. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he missed out. But yeah, no. Thanks for playing with me, guys. Alrighty. No coffee makes me crazy. The nicotine calms me down. And I take them together when you stress me out, it stress me out. You stress me out, you stress me out. What's that sound tugging at your brain? It's just my fist on the glass again, and you keep me.
much for having us tonight um feeling super lucky to be able to not just be out and about not getting sick but also being able to go to gigs so hella lucky um thank you fallback for everything you've done to, for darwin 
and everything you've nurtured in the music scene. Anyways, my name's Stevie Jean. These guys are from a band called Draft Day who are super sick. Oh, see y'all later. Stop caring. I wake every door. Said I play guitar and just my socks now. I bet your head is high on your recliner of lies. Is out with the boys again? You say I love you, honey. Look away from his eyes, 'cause you don't know what I could do, but I. You want to, and I seen the black in your stare when I walk into the room. You can't run, but you cannot hide. Oh, you cannot hide. You cannot hide. You cannot hide. Everybody, can we please put our hands together and thank the wonderful Stevie Jean and her band? Did you enjoy that at home as well, watching wherever you are? The good thing about this is that people all over the world will have the opportunity to watch this as well as the wonderful people here at Deck Chair Cinema. Thank you, everyone, for coming out early and supporting the local music. This is Danielle Andrews. Hi. 
My name's Amy Hetherington and that was Stevie Jean. For those of you that might not have seen Stevie perform before, where have you been? Um, <laughs> she's so incredible. She's supported people like the Rubens, Tash Sultana, the Cat Empire. She's gone on tours with Montaigne, all over the place, done festivals around Australia. We're kind of lucky that she's in Darwin at the moment and unable to go anywhere because we get treated to music like that all the time. It's pretty specky. And we've got all kinds of, we've got more great music coming up, of course, Foldback Barbecue Sessions happening right now as part of the Darwin International Film Festival festival. We've got a movie coming up after this for those who are sticking around at 8pm we're going to be watching Mystery Road. So uh, if you're watching at home maybe you could complete the experience by downloading and watching Mystery Road as well. Legally of course we, uh, we always endorse those kinds of things. For sure and at the moment it's such a beautiful time to be in Darwin because we're like in the middle of the Darwin International Film Festival mm -hmm. there's events happening all over the place we've also got these music sessions with Foldback um, a massive thanks to the NT government, Channel NT and Arts NT for the funding to be able to do the Foldback barbecue sessions Danielle, it's really cool. Yeah it's been great and we've got so many great sponsors that I think we should probably thank along the way. So we've got the uh, NT government, as you, as as you said, um, and the, the Community Benefit Fund is uh, has been a big thing to getting all of this happening. The Community Benefit Fund, friends at home, you don't know, you might not know this, people in the audience, you might not know this as well. Community Benefit Fund has helped Foldback get some of the equipment to film and to make the sound for today as well. So it's really important that that equipment, you know, we get some high quality equipment so that you get to enjoy it at home and everyone out here gets to have a good time too. So thanks to the Community Benefit Fund. And you've already said uh, who's doing it, but there's a lot of handsome people and beautiful people pointing yeah. cameras at us. Yeah. Where yeah. are they from, Amy? There's some really good looking people Very around here. They're all here from Dream Media. Oh, how lucky are we? Darwin Talent from Dream Media helping with the recording and the production today. Um, really important, again, 2020 has been a tough year for people in production, people in arts, all that sort of space. So it's really good that we can put on an event like this uh, and get all those people working, get all those people supported. So my friends in the audience, can you please put your hands together and thank the production team doing an amazing job, cracking through 2020 like absolutely legends. Yeah, we've got uh, the Nook backline who are providing all the backline for the performers. Classic Nook. They put on good events. They're awesome people. We love Nook. Also, Gig Tech here has done some of the sound and lighting technicians. Thank you very much to Gig Tech on your crew. Um, also, the other thing that's happening down here, people at home might not be able to enjoy this, but you can actually get it yourselves at home. The food. That's uh, right. Um, can you make some noise if you've had some of the delicious food tonight, friends? Make some noise for us. Yeah. Solid. So the food's um, being put on tonight by Cafe de la Plage. Um, have you been there? Oh, actually, of course we've been there. Yes, I got married at Cafe de la Plage. Yeah, of I've been there, yes. And we're Northern Suburbs <laughs> girls, so we're there all the time pretending to work because that's True. what happens when you're an arts freelancer. <laughs> you do a lot of coffee meetings and a lot of looking at the ocean. Exactly. <laughs> and the uh, food has come from Eva Valley Meats and also from Organic AG. So do there's... you want to actually, we've got some food here oh, cooking because yeah. obviously wearing the aprons, Danielle and I are cooking as well as emceeing because, you know, we're talented Multi -talented. Talented. Uh, and what's going on at the moment is we're cooking up a storm. Here we go. We're copying Della Blage's efforts of the cooking and have a look at that. Have a crack at there that. There is some proper food in there. I like it. Eva Valley meats are delicious. So make sure mm -hmm. that you support these local businesses and organic AG as well. Look at those veggies. They look fresh as. So I think it's really important, my delightful friends at home and friends out there, that you support these local businesses that are supporting awesome events like this. And I'm glad that we've got that food because we're going to need that in a second, yeah. I think. I There's feel like only so much that. of this energy that we can just like keep on cruising <laughs> out with. The other people that we should thank is Marcus Dixon from No Culture Creative. Um, yeah, can we have a round of applause for Marcus Dixon, incredible creative individual who's um, been helping them with all of their graphic design and the rest of that. He's, an, he's a pretty cool dude. And Zipprint, who's done all the printing as well. So you've got all of the incredible stickers, all kinds of things that have come through there. Yeah, and a reminder as well that you can get yourself some merchandise. If anyone here wants to show some support for Foldback or any of the local artists, sometimes buying that little bit of merchandise makes a big difference uh, for them to keep making the music. So head on over to the stand over there, buy yourself some merch or get online and find places to get your hands on it. Definitely. And if you don't want to look as fashionable as we do right now, I don't know what you're doing. So yeah. just keep it in mind, you know. And, and one of the best things is there's heaps of volunteers here uh, as a part of Foldback. So a big thank you to all the volunteers. You might not know this in the Northern Territory, one third of all Territorians are volunteers. Um, and we've got a bunch of the best ones here at the moment. So thanks to Foldback and the Darwin International National Film Festival, which, look, I think we've done a lot of talking. I reckon we might bring out a special guest from the Darwin International Film Festival. She She's slightly reluctant. She just rolled her <laughs> eyes at me, but that's okay. Come on over, Blandine. Uh, my friends here at the Deck Chair Cinema, can I please get you to put your hands together and welcome the wonderful Blandine from the Darwin International Film Festival. <laughs> Delightful. How, how are you going? 
I'm good, thanks. Sorry, I um, I roll my eyes as a thing because I'm French, I think. Uh, it just happens. No, it's absolutely fair. You know, when you're put on the spot by somebody who's like, hey, there's a camera oh, recording something live and an audience, come and speak on a microphone, you can't really get out of it, can you? No. But do you want to tell us a little bit about the Darwin International Film Festival? Uh, sure. So uh, this year would have been the 11th edition of the Darwin uh, International Film Festival. Uh, but obviously, as you mentioned, with everything that's going on, we have decided to uh, do it a little bit differently. So we're still a film festival. We're still showing amazing films. Uh, but this year with uh, COVID and everything, we decided to, instead of like looking outward and uh, curate new films when, you know, it's such a mess, the world film industry is just in shambles right now. Mm. Uh, so we decided to look inward and look at what we've got here in the Northern Territory and what a, an amazing venue to take advantage of, yeah. the Deck Chess Cinema. Deck so Chess we thought cinema. we would, you know, each night we would make the most of it and bring on local artists. Uh, we've got street art uh, paintings over there. Uh, we've got live music on every night. Um, definitely tonight and closing night next Sunday will be highlight, absolute highlights of the festival with I, the I, barbecue sessions. I love that, looking in. And I think that's one of the silver linings that's happened in 2020 in terms of us going, actually, we've got all the incredible talent here in the Northern Territory. Channel NT is doing an amazing job of uh, doing that as well and Foldback celebrating that local talent. And I think, you know, if we're going to be optimists about it, the silver lining has been that. So thank you so much, Blandine, for your time. Cheers thank to that. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, Danielle, I think you might want to have a chat to our next person. I certainly do have a very special guest who's going to come and chat to me and I uh, actually have a couple of curly questions for him because I've got Steve from Fallback here. How are you going, mate? I'm well, thanks, Danielle. Uh, first of all, Steve, what's Fallback doing? What are you guys up to? We're all volunteers. Um, since November uh, 2014, six, six years ago, uh, we've been uh, supporting promoting uh, local live music in the Northern Territory, all over the Northern Territory, not just the Darwin region. And um, it's kind of culminating in this at the moment, which is one of the biggest things we've done. Uh, thank you very much to the Northern Territory Government for the, uh, the grant money to put all this together and all the crew uh, and all the musicians that have come together today and yourself and Amy, of course. Um, that have done such a wonderful job for us tonight. Thanks. And Steve, have you got some stuff looking forward? Is there more stuff happening that you're looking forward to? We are. We've got some stuff uh, happening um, outside of the Darwin region. Uh, we're looking at uh, doing to include uh, people down the track, so to speak. Uh, we're trying to be inclusive to the whole Northern Territory if we can, not just Darwin centric. It's a little bit difficult, but the more funds we get, the more um, interest we get, the more uh, services we can provide, so to speak. So we've got some uh, good videos we'll be rolling out uh, throughout the uh, rest of the year and uh, various projects that we're working on, which I can't say too much about. Ooh, top secret, I like it. Well, Steve, I said I'd have a hard question for you. I have one hard question for you. What's that, Danielle? If you answer this question correctly, you get a sausage, okay? So get excited about it, because I've got a whole plate of sausages, right? I'm a vegetarian. Oh, well, you can have a, you can have a veggie skewer, I oh, guess. Skewer, Steve. You can have a skewer, I suppose. All right, I have a hard question for you, you got to answer, okay? Would you rather, for the rest of your life, only be able to use a spoon or only be able to use a fork? A spoon. Oh, that's, I don't think that's the right answer. I'm, I think it is. Oh, Amy thinks it's the right answer. Fine. You can have a veggie skewer. Congratulations. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> thank you very much, Daniel. Oh, thank you. Oh, very sorry, much. I'll hold that. Oh, look at this. I'm just going to octopus that around. Absolutely flawless, my friends. This is great. <laughs> what an amazing environment down here to be able to enjoy some live music. They're going to enjoy a film soon. Mystery Road's going to be on at 8 o'clock at Deck Chair Cinema as a part of the Darwin International Film Festival. I know that my mum in particular is very excited about this film. Um, she bought tickets very early for it, so it's awesome. <laughs> uh, and also, again, like lots of the films that are being shown now are local films. So I'm really thrilled that next week as well they've got Looky Looky Here Comes Cookie. Ooh. So if anyone doesn't have their tickets for that... Um, uh, fold back session. Uh, you can actually come and see some more live music, including yeah. East Journey and Rachel Rachel. Rachel Rachel, yeah, that's right. It's going to be a good one. Yeah. We'll be here. Yeah, of course we're going to be here. <laughs> this is where we live now. This is our home. If you haven't already noticed, we're super comfortable. Got the Barbie. We've cranking. got food. We're ready to go. We've got food. We've got we've got a uh, you know American mustard. All of the things you could possibly need to start a home with. We are ready for that. Absolutely. And it's so good to see so many people out here at Deck Chess Cinema, nice and early, supporting the local music. Can we get a bit of noise for how great the vibe is down here, friends? 
There we go. So the people at home, you might not be able to experience the wonderful energy and the, the beautifulness of this sunset, but, you know, the virtual world has come into its own in 2020 and we're it's enjoying true. it. It's true. We've all learnt to look at things through a camera slightly differently, haven't we? Have you learnt anything during lockdown or 2020, Danielle? I'm putting you on the spot now. We didn't practice this. Have you learnt anything new? Yes. I worry about stupid things <laughs> almost you, exclusively. What are you worried about now? My main concern is maybe the guy from the B-52s is deaf and no one's told him, and that's why he yells so much. I've spent a good long time thinking about that. She knocks on the door three times in Love Shack, all adequate knocks, doesn't hear it. Yeah. Three times he doesn't hear it. Takes it three times. Also, if you've listened to Rock Lobster, him being deaf makes more sense. It, well, 100%. I think there's going to be some people that are going to be a bit upset about your decision. I know. Look, I have a lot of feelings music. about the B-52s. Oh, that's great. I mean, like, we've all got to learn something during lockdown. I learned that I love my husband, but not enough, I think. No, I, I love him. I do. He, he might watch this, I'm not sure. But look, <laughs> some people are laughing at this. I just, I think it's more of a call for help. He's great. But I tell you what, it's been a lot of time together. It's, uh... I think a few a few people are feeling this. I mean, I mean, there's nothing. Nothing's going to come from this. I'm too lazy to sort anything else. It's a out, lot of paperwork, you know. It's a lot of paperwork, and he's he's really useful and delightful. But oh, it's 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 a lot of the same face, isn't it? Really, it's true. That you did read that there was comedy happening as a part of this, right? <laughs> so you ever just walked in first. and gone? This is a, like a live psychology <laughs> session happening. Amy Hetherington needs some support. What about you, Danielle? What what else is going on in your world that people should should know about? That's interesting. Um, my husband has taken up diagnosing all of my medical problems, which is good. <laughs> that's been really helpful. He's not a doctor. Uh, never been a doctor, but every so often I get a new diagnosis, so that's been good. good. It's nice yeah. to have someone looking out Do for you. Do you know what the best remedy is for any of your ailments, my friend? New husband? No. Live music. Oh, oh yeah. what okay. a segue. Right. Stop it. <laughs> what? They got the experts involved tonight. Yeah, they did. My friends, your next act is one of Darwin's very favourite groups of human beings. Look so at them up there. They're gorgeous. They're having a great time. We're going to throw this camera over and you're going to enjoy yourself. Some Dave Garnham and the reasons to live. Let's make them feel very welcome, everybody. Well, <laughs> It sounds just like the start of another sub story Through her throwaway line But at that day it's most of them all I wasn't looking for love The devil knows I was looking for something She said, boy, I think you're cute Dealing with a broken heart Oh, so take me out tonight You fill up the room You still feel alone when you're beside yourself She said never, said never She knows she just said it twice She was a friend of a friend of a friend She was nobody's fool and She ate boys for breakfast Like you put on pairs of pants It was a three-month of a fair Bro, it didn't shame to me She said, boy, I think you're cute but not as much as Spanish sun Oh, so take me out tonight You fill up the room You still feel alone when you're beside yourself She said never, said never She knows she just said it twice All up just to drag it all on down the never side. Say never, never say never. Oh, so take me out tonight. You fill up the room. You still feel alone. 
beside yourself She said never, said never She knows she just said it twice Thank you kindly. Thank you. That is a delight. Um, now, we've a very special guest is here from Tennant Creek. Uh, our, our last EP w that we launched before the world stopped um, was dedicated to Judy. Judy, who's our biggest fan in Tennant Creek and the world. And Judy's here today. <laughs> it's the reason why in Tennant Creek we have uh, per capita the highest uh, record sales uh, in the world. We're, we're kind of a big deal in Tennant Creek only because Judy basically stands over people at gigs and makes them buy our CDs. So we had to... Uh, Remember the guys that made Vine and Renda Springs that had never even heard of you? Yeah, yeah. It does, like, it, they don't even have to hear the band play. Judy makes them walk out with one of our CDs. And also why Judy is such a great fan is she, uh, she also is completely honest and she openly tells me how much she dislikes this next song. But we are... It, <laughs> but we're going to endeavour to try and uh, bring her around. Kindly. This next track we released as a single as a part of uh, that EP that we launched back in Feb. Obviously, we've caught up on that. We've actually released an album just recently as well because why not? We don't have much else to do. But this is a song about a book that I never read, but I kind of got the gist of it, and then I wrote a three minute and 40 second song about it. I think it's something about uh, pushing a rock up and down a hill. I just realised I left my stuff there. Yes. Yeah, you're right. 
All good? We're going to get uh, a little bit country after all. I am wearing an Akubra. This is uh, the most country we get. It's also the silliest we get. Sorry, David. I was just looking at how good Mark Smith looks there with the light on his face and the ocean in the background. Oh. There's lots of photographers here. That's what you should be taking a photo of. Yeah, we can all move to the side if you want. Yeah. Actually, can we get a closer fan so that... The tufts of hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ladies and gents, Mr. Mark Loose Lips and Smith on the drums. <laughs> we, we played down in Catherine yesterday and it's the closest thing we've had to a, to a tour for a while. I guess 600 Ks and two gigs and two nights will feel like a tour. Um, but yeah, we, we, we got a little bit, you know, locker room on the situation in a respectful and 2020 manner. But now, now we all have nicknames, which I will release throughout the, uh, the set.
listening to the radio Cause I can't handle listening to pain calls Everybody's got an agenda And mine's not to listen to yours Polly's are sending ghost planes to Brisbane To take them back to their wife's house in Canada To take the money from the fountain And how am I supposed to sleep at night When my heart ain't where I left it I need some noise to fill the void And all I need is the big bash lead I'm bored I like my new spoon fed to me Finished with an interest piece I've never been a member of a union I've never met no chairman of no board I'm so glad I stopped paying taxes But I do that for so many years for I need some noise Feel the void And all I need is the breakfast team Smiling back at me condescendingly Probably sillier than usual. Silly. Yeah, yeah. I'm down with that. So we released this song as a single about a month ago. Even though we're trying to get away from that internet thing for releasing albums, because we kind of don't think the internet's really a suitable thing for being old school like us old chunks of coal and listening to an album in its entirety. So we're, we're only going to be releasing the singles uh, on the internets when we'll be only selling the album at gigs. So today we're the only place in the world that you can buy a copy of our new album. But this is our... Um, we released this single for a reason. Um, that's because it's a simple little love song with a simple little message. And that's about if you have love and not much else, that's more than enough. You've got a lot 
under nicknames But I'll call you beautiful You might be a little bit rough around the edges But that's me through and through And I can't give you children But I give you half of what I got And we both know half and nothing It ain't much But after you life's an afterthought And we've got red wine We got cigarettes, we got dark chocolate, and I got you. And I never learned to slow dance, and then to gay Puri. And I'm still going on about the same game of footy I played when I was 15. In the social pages Smiling on opening night In fact, the only time We make the paper Is when we're born or died And we've got red wine We've got cigarettes We've got dark chocolate And i got you Gents on the uh, lead electric guitar, we've got Aiden Drugs of Badam K. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like the nickname, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see if that one sticks. I hadn't heard it. It's the first time I'd heard it. That's good. That's a good one. Listen to your sweetheart be dead As if it never had before We've been married for years But there's still some love in store And dark guns and magazines Are they killing our boys overseas And I love all so it seems gonna be the Savior, the Savior for you and me. And I've been waiting all my life just for this jump to end. Prepare the song and sow the seed, been that way since I don't know when. And I And I love all so it seems Gonna be the Savior, the Savior be with me The Mississippi may be long and strong The Mississippi never felt this warm I swam the Pacific from dust till dawn the sweet Pacific feels like you 
when they kill our boys overseas. And I love all so it seems gonna be the savior, the savior for you and me. Ladies and gents, on the uh, double bass, we have Dan Star Child Davis. That was a poor time to execute that. Uh, oh, sorry, Dan. I'm swapping instruments. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to make sure they caught your best side, Dan. I was saying that in terms of your sweet behind, by the way. I wasn't saying the back of you is the best. Anyhow, we'll talk about it in the car. Here's a little story I made up. I didn't live it uh, because uh, it involves buying a house. And this is a story about a couple of people that bought a house together that probably shouldn't have bought a house together. In fact, they probably shouldn't be doing much with each other. But these things happen. Apologies if you can relate. We've got a, a couple more in us. What was the next song on the stage? Well, let, let's do Mr. Payne and then this down. All right. Mr. Payne. Yeah. 
On Ke- well, Kadek didn't with come with us to Catherine, so I don't have a nickname for him, but please give it up for oh, Kadek Hobman. <laughs> thank you. Uh, this next song. Wait, what was that, Gay? You were trying to be subtle and telling me how much time was left, and then I broke the fourth wall or whatever wall it was, and then I just started talking to you about that. Thank you, Gaya. <laughs> Thank you to Foldback for putting this on and the deck chair for having us. Tui on sound gig tech doing all the soundy things, all the camera crews. Um, This next song appears on the album we have for sale. We're rather fond of it. We're probably going to make it a single uh, before Christmas. It's a song about the things we do to do the things we really want to do, if you know what I'm if you're picking up what I'm putting down. It's the kind of things you can't talk about at dinner parties. Yeah. 
say yeah. oh, well. I love to leave you darling But then I just miss When God was giving out spines I was taking a piss I love to leave you darling But then I just miss Then I just miss the pain Thank you kindly. We're going to sneak in one more song for you. I better not yak too much because I think, you know, there's a movie going on. It's probably going to be rude if we keep playing through that. So this is a song we don't play very often, uh, but this seems like a, an event of sorts. <laughs> and it's an honour to be here, so we'd like to uh, bring it out for you. It's a song called This Town. Thank you, Dan. And please make him welcome Ben Mad Dog Allen. Uh, a lot of you probably don't know me, but you, you don't realize how inappropriate that name is. If, a person, if, if Beige was a personality, it's me. He is wild. <laughs> Two years old in love with a girl And I broke a heart on the other side of the world I was foolish and young So I did what I knew best And wrote her a song about how much I'm sorry And oh, how much I long For her and her dawn and smile Fell to the floor and we sobbed and we cried Writhing around not too sure what's going on inside She said, boy, finally me know Yeah, this town was for love at the time You can't swim on the beach, you can fish if you like Public transport's a joke But it's good for getting round on your bike So I bought me one A local newspaper talks about UFOs And crocodiles and whores Giving head on the road It's front page news Main drag at seas on a Saturday night Some are looking for love, but most are looking for a fight Come on, put up your dues Yeah, this town's kind of strange, but it's mine Yeah, this town's kind of weird, but it's mine Harbor all that land and all that water. I'll give you all of that. Promenade for a cyclone shelter and Stuart Park. And things with the girl, you know, they didn't last. The song's not about her have written too many in the park It's about my town Almost up and left when things didn't work This town's too small for heartbreak, you know I might move to Perth But I couldn't leave One thing that kills me is people come and go They creep into your lives and creep on back down the coast But no, not me Yeah, this town breaks my heart sometimes And this town isn't what I had in mind And this town sure brings me life 
and it's mine. Thank you so much. I've been uh, David the Amazing Garnum. <laughs> and these are the reasons to live. Thank you so much. All right, my friends, let's give Dave Garnum and the Reasons to Live a giant round of applause. David the Amazing Garnum. I David the fine. Amazing Garnum. You know it's not a good nickname when you've given it to yourself. <laughs> Better than Darwin's uh, Prince of Country Heartbreak. Yes, yes. Oh, we can up. come up with many nicknames for Dave Garnum, but we don't have time and this is PG. So it's let's true. continue right. on. We have so many people to thank. We've got the NT Government, the Arts NT and Channel NT. We'd like to thank NT Government and the uh, CBF, the uh, Community Benefit Fund. Line and the Nook Gig Black Tech. as well, both yep. providing the sound. Cafe de la Plage, Eva Valley Meats and Organic AG providing the food tonight. Well done, guys. We can smell it from here. It's awesome. Thank you so much. And, of course, uh, Marcus Dixon from No Culture Creative and Zip Print for all of the merch, which you guys can still get over there if you want. And also, Foldback, uh, amazing media organisation that's supporting the arts sector here, the music scene, everyone that creates in the Northern Territory space, Foldback is supporting. So thank you so much to the Foldback team and to the Darwin International Film Festival. It's still going. There's still like a week, week of programming left. happening at DIFF. Yep. Um, next week is included in that too. That's it. In fact, next Sunday we're going to have another barbecue sesh. So if you enjoyed this, come down. We've got new acts performing. We've got Rachel, Rachel and East Journey. So you can come and hear them, check them out. Yeah. Stick around and watch it. The film. Yeah, looky, looky, here comes Cookie, which is a Northern Territory production. There's a lot of NT people working on that. It's going to be hilarious. I'll be sticking around to watch that one for sure. But look, it is a barbecue session, so we thought we'd leave you at home with something and maybe the people that are out and about out there can learn something. Danielle, one of the things that causes the most fights in a friendship is how to actually have a sausage sandwich, it's right? True. Like, if you're going to have a sausage sizzle, there's got to be rules about the order of sauce and, and mustard. Absolutely. So let me just put this one down. I've got my bread, I'm ready. What's you... your opinion on this, my friend? Because, I... like, we, we, we've been hanging out for about eight years. Sausage sizzles could make or break the friendship. What do it's, you reckon? It's ha true. What are your thoughts? Is it sauce, mustard? What's the go? I'm tomato sauce and then mustard. Whoa, okay. Tomato that's, sauce that's and then mustard. That's my preferred. So I oh, want... Is... I'll tell you when on the tomato sauce because okay, the answer is more than you think. Oh, no. is this? Is, no, that, that's a that's a lot Still of got, that's a lot of sauce. There when? You Thank you. That's, okay, good. And Excellent. then some mustard. Oh, I'm not going to drop that oh, on yeah, there. Don't put it on the barbecue. All right, and how much mustard do you go for? I'll tell you when. When? Oh, you're a saucy girl. Look at that. <laughs> I like a lot of sauce on my uh, on my sausage sizzle. Yeah, yeah. All right, your turn, Amy. All right, uh, I'm going to put turn. that down. Uh, well, the answer to that is. Uh, do you want to? No you, bread. No, nah, just straight with the sanger. Don't mess about with it. Give it a good go. Don't trust um, anyone that doesn't use bread as part of a sandwich. You haven't got time for bread. When it's you want a sausage name. and you're hungry, you just go for it. Well, mm. I'm walking home. Mm. It's safer. I don't want to be in the car with this mad woman. Mm, amazing. Well, mates, that brings us to the end of the first of the Foldback Barbecue Sessions. Uh, my name's Amy Hetherington. I'm Danielle Andrew. We've had amazing music tonight from Stevie Jean and Dave Garnum and The Reasons to Live. Please go and find them on social media, show them some support, buy their merchandise. Getting behind artists in 2020 is the goal. It definitely helps. And for the people that are still here at Deck Chess Cinema, you are in for a treat tonight. Mystery Road is playing at 8 o'clock. You are going to see an incredible production, including a story about an Indigenous cowboy, Detective Jay. Swan. So please enjoy yourself. Please keep supporting the local businesses that have been involved today and take care. Thanks. And thanks to Zekchaz Cinema for having us. Bye. Bye. Bye.